Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be touching on vitamin C serums and I'm going to be rounding up the best for 2023. So every year I upload a video like this where I share my favorites for each category. So we're going to be talking about vitamin C, but I will be uploading a video talking about my favorite eye serums and then of course my favorite eye creams and so on. And I just round up everything for the year because obviously during a year I test and use a lot of skincare products. So at the end of the year, I always like to share my top picks and the ones that I really do enjoy. And then sometimes I still share my holy grails in these videos as well because they still continue to work and I'm also very impressed with them as well. So I do have some oldies in this video, but I do have a couple of newbies as well that I have started using for 2020. So of course, let's get right into today's video and of course all of these vitamin C serums and I do have eight in total will be linked below for you for your reference. So with pure forms, ascorbic acid, this is already active. So you're putting that active form right on your skin, which then of course could be irritating for some skin types. Now with a vitamin C derivative, once these are applied to your skin, your skin has to convert that derivative to ascorbic acid for it to actually do something for your skin. So that's why I say that the derivatives take a little bit longer to work and they may not be as effective because your skin has to do that conversion. But the longer you use your products in general, the quicker you're going to see results. So consistency is always key with skincare, no matter if you're using a vitamin C derivative or ascorbic acid, like ascorbic acid doesn't work overnight. But one of the first things that you will notice once it starts working is that brighter complexion and the same with a vitamin C derivative. So remember with derivatives, they're more gentle because your skin has to convert it to ascorbic acid. And with ascorbic acid, it's already active, which then can be irritating. And this might help to determine which vitamin C to go with depending on your skin type and your preference. So the first vitamin C that I started using this year is by Maylove, and this is the Glow Maker Antioxidant Serum. This is something that I really do like and enjoy, and again, this is very similar to a lot of vitamin Cs that I have used in the past, but this one in particular does have aloe, and just having that extra ingredient in there for hydration really does make a big difference because even though I have combination skin, my skin can be a little irritated at times, it can be sensitive, and and also I can develop dryness as well, but there are some vitamin C serums that can irritate my skin. My skin can become a little rosy and also it can feel a little dry at the same time. But with this one, having that aloe in there, I feel like really does make a big difference. And this is very, very hydrating on the skin. So this formulation has the 15% vitamin C, ascorbic acid. It also has vitamin E and ferulic acid. It also has hyaluronic acid as well. And I really like it. Now I will say that when you pick up ascorbic acid, a lot of people say it smells like hot dogs. Okay. I don't really smell that. I kind of smell like it's like a smoky scent, but I really don't, I, I know what you guys mean, but I don't feel like it smells like hot dogs. It just smells a little smoky. And I actually don't mind that smell. I actually, maybe I'm like one of the weird ones that don't mind that smell. I actually don't mind it. But as your serum gets older, right? As it starts to oxidize and that bottle has been opened for a while, yes, it, it becomes more smoky. It becomes more strong. And then of course the coloring of your vitamin C will start to change as well. It will get darker and that is an indication that your vitamin C serum has oxidized or it's starting to oxidize. So when you get your vitamin C serums, they should be pretty clear when you first get them. Now this one has been open for a little while. So I'm going to show you what this one looks like. And this has started to oxidize and it's really unfortunate, but you can see that it's starting to go quite yellow. Now I would still use this. Okay. If it's brown, or it's like really dark, dark yellow, then I'm not going to use it anymore. It's, it's okay to use, it's just not going to be effective. So unfortunately this one has started to oxidize and because I test so many skincare products, this is what happens, right? Some of my skincare products do oxidize and some of them do expire because I just have so many things on the go. And that's why if you're going to invest in ascorbic acid, don't purchase multiple bottles and don't buy 
several different brands because they just oxidize. They're not going to stay. So save your money, buy one bottle at a time. And if you feel like you have maybe a week's worth left, then go and order another bottle. But I do like this one. It's 30 mils of product. It is quite affordable. It really is a lovely one. Next up is Timeless Skincare. You guys know how much I love this brand and I also really love this formulation of vitamin C as well. I have been talking about the 20% for a long time and it's been a staple in my morning skincare routine. Now there are two percentages here. They offer a 10% and they also offer a 20%. They both do the exact same thing except for this one is just at a lower percentage. But just because this one is at a lower percentage doesn't mean that this one isn't going to be effective. It is and it will be. Remember, consistency is key and you wanna use a formulation that you can be consistent with. So if you think the 20% is going to be a little bit too strong, then go with this and be consistent with this. And I have seen great results with this, which is why I am sharing the 10% as well. Now, they both contain vitamin E and ferulic acid. They both have the same texture. They're very thin and lightweight. It's like water and it comes in a nice pump style packaging as well. Now it's in a glass packaging now, which is really nice. And the old packaging was the pump that was plastic and there was a lot of leakage and that's why they went a different route with packaging. I will say that there was a time where I wasn't experiencing any leakage, but I did experience a few times where it was leaky. And I feel like it's really hard to have a product in a pump that has that thin watery texture. I feel like you're always going to have some type of leakage no matter what product it is, if it's in that type of consistency. So, you know, it's not as bad as the plastic packaging, but I have experienced the odd leak here and there. But I like this brand because it's affordable. They offer different sizes as well and they offer two different strengths also. And I just feel like this is a brand that you should try at least once, especially if you wanna try their vitamin C serum. Now my skin tolerates really well to 20%. It does take my skin to the next level in terms of that brighter complexion. I experience quicker results with the 20, but I still like the 10 and it's really nice to use this once in a while, especially now that we're coming into the winter months. Sometimes my skin can be a little bit more irritated during the winter, so I may want to use the 10% a little bit more because of that reason, but both are great and I highly recommend. I do have a discount code for you guys where you can get 15% off these or anything else on the Timeless website. There is a minimum of $16 and it's to one customer. So you can only use my discount code once per customer and you have until the end of 2023 to take advantage of that. So my discount code is sincerely Miss Ash. Feel free to use it. Honestly, this is a great time to try their vitamin C and I keep these in the fridge. Just so you know, I keep all of these types of vitamin C's in the fridge as I do feel like it helps to prolong it a little bit more and Timeless actually recommends to keep this in the fridge once you've opened it up. So the shelf life on here is three months, I believe. Let me just double check. Where is that period after opening number? I did remember seeing it on their box. Hang on, yes three month shelf life. So once you've opened it up, use it up within three months. The next one is by Vivier, and this is the CE Peptide Antioxidant Serum. Now, recently I did work with them on a paid campaign for TikTok. They are not paying me or sponsoring this video at all. This is just me wanting to introduce this product to you guys because I actually really did like it, and I feel like this is another lovely option to look into. Now, I realize that this is expensive, and I know that this isn't in everyone's budget. We are all on a budget nowadays, but I like to share a variety of products on my channel at different price points. As you know, I share a lot of affordable options, but I do like to throw in some higher end options, especially if I like the product. And I do like this. So this has a 10% L-ascorbic acid. It also has vitamin E and three types of peptides. And I like how there's peptides in here because it makes the serum different. And also peptides help to 
firm up the skin and also helps to address early signs of aging like fine lines. And I like how this makes my skin super soft. I get this immediate glow to my skin as well. It sits nicely with skincare and with my makeup and I think that this is very hydrating at the same time. Now this one does contain fragrance so if that's not your thing please know that this does have a little bit of that perfumey smell. So if you don't like that hot dog scent or you know that vitamin C smell you're not going to get that with this because of that added fragrance. There's also castor oil in here and I know that's not everyone's thing either so please keep that in mind. And the shelf life with this is six months. So if you're looking for something that will last a little bit longer then according to Vivier, once this is opened, you have six months versus three months with the other brands. Now this one has been open for about a month now. So I will show you that this one has that pale, pale yellow tinge to the serum. This means that it's still potent. It's still active. This hasn't started oxidizing yet. So you see the difference between the May Love one and this one. This one is still pretty good. So I like this one, you guys. I know it's expensive, but if you want to treat yourself and just try something different for once, then I would say look into this. I'm still really enjoying the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. Yes, this is another serum that is quite expensive. This is actually cheaper than the Vivier one, just so you know, not that that matters, but it is a little bit cheaper. And if you love SkinCeuticals, then I feel like you will really like this serum. And I like a lot of products from this brand. And this one is one of my favorites because I like how it feels on my skin. And it really does work to give that brighter complexion as well. So this one is very moisturizing in my opinion. I feel like this is going to be a nice option for the winter months. I have been using this on and off for several years years now and it's not something that I use all the time because of the price point so I will purchase maybe one a year and then sometimes sometimes not all the time I might be lucky to get gifted one a year so I might only use this twice a year and I always love my experience every time I use it so it does have that 15% L-ascorbic acid it also has ferulic acid and vitamin E it still has that thin watery texture but this one does have have a little bit of a thickness to the formulation so it's very moisturizing and my skin feels comfortable for the entire day this one is similar to timeless but I feel like this one is more moisturizing so if you're looking for something that will keep your skin comfortable for the winter months this really is a nice option but of course all of the other options that I'm sharing in this video will work great for the winter as well you just may need to use a thicker cream to accommodate your skin type but I always love my experience with this, like I said, and this did win Reader's Choice Award for 2023. Not that that matters, not that that means that this is worth the price point, but I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that because this wins awards all the time, and I can see why, because it really does perform and it does work. So if you like SkinCeuticals, again, I feel like you will really like this one. I also really like the Dermatology CE Plus F. This is very comparable to the previous vitamin C's that I mentioned, but also very comparable to the Vivier one because this formulation also contains peptides, but this formulation is at a 15% concentration and also it has vitamin E as well as ferulic acid. But this formula also has ceramides and I am a big fan of this ingredient in my skincare, especially now that we're coming into the winter months as ceramides can help to strengthen and repair the skin barrier and it also helps to prevent trans epidermal water loss, which we need that moisture in our skin no matter what, but especially during the winter months, we need to keep that moisture moisture in the skin at all times. So this would be a lovely option for the winter months because of that. This one is also very thin and lightweight. It absorbs nicely into the skin, very similar to the Timeless in terms of that texture. And I really like how this performs on my skin as well. And I love the peptides in here. So I do have a discount code for you guys as well, where you can get 20% off using my code Sincerely Miss Ash. This is an ongoing code that you can use all the time and you can apply it to anything 
on their website. But if you love dermatology, I'm telling you, you will really like this one. It just works so well. Next up is the Paula's Choice C15 Super Booster. This is another product that I haven't opened up yet. So when you get this in a box, it comes with that dropper and it comes separate. So I like how they do this because this seal this cap is on there really really good so it's going to prevent that oxidization process so you will need to insert the dropper once you get it and once you're ready to use it and i like that i like that concept but this one has that 15 percent concentration it also has that vitamin e and ferulic acid but this comes in a 20 mil size whereas all of the other vitamin c's that i share today are 30 mil but remember with timeless you can purchase larger sizes as well well. If you're someone that feels like you're not going to be able to finish your vitamin C serum in time, then I would say go with the Paula's Choice one because again, it's 20 mils of product. This one also has a three month shelf life. So you will most likely go through this within the three months. Then you're going to know you're going to keep that potency going. You're putting that active form on your skin every single time and it's going to be effective. I would say go with this if you feel like you can't use up your vitamin C in time. Now, I should mention that this one is fragrance free. It does have a little bit of that smoky scent from what I can remember. It's been a while since I've used this one, but also this one is fragrance free as well, the dermatology, and there's a four month shelf life with this one. I forgot to mention that, so now you know. But I do like the Paula's Choice one, very similar to the Timeless, but again, we have that 20 mil size. And the last vitamin C that I really love is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. I've been using their vitamin C on and off for several years, and I actually started using this over four years ago, and I've always recommended this. I like this formulation a lot. It does brighten up your skin, but I also feel like this formula really helps to firm the skin as well. Now, the formulation is the same, but the packaging has changed since I started this back four years ago so now when you purchase this you get the ascorbic acid powder separately and then they provide you with the serum in a different bottle when you're ready to use this you're going to mix the two together you're going to shake this really well and then of course you are ready to use it and I like this because with other vitamin C serums like even the ones I shared in this video you have no idea how long these products have been sitting on the shelf for or how long they've been sitting in a warehouse for so when you get it you don't know if it's already started to oxidize until you open up the bottle and so the good thing with the timeless one is that they create fresh batches all the time and you will actually see that manufactured date on the box when you get it so then you can see when it was made and then of course if it's oxidized hopefully it's not but if it is then of course you can contact the brand and say hey listen this was made on this date why is it oxidized but with Drunk Elephant, you are creating that fresh batch right away and you have six months until you have to finish it up. And I do keep this in the fridge as well and I really like it. So this is at a 15% concentration. It also has vitamin E, ferulic acid. It also has a lot of other fabulous ingredients in here as well. So I do like this no matter what season we are in, but I do feel like this will be another great option for the winter months. So those are all of my favorite vitamin C serums for 2023. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful and hopefully I was able to introduce you to a new formulation today. And if you've never tried vitamin C before, hopefully I was able to introduce you to a serum that you can try for the first time. And I would love to hear what your experience is like as you get trying it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask away. And also I would love to know what your favorite vitamin C serums are. So let's get a conversation going in that comment section. Remember these serums, including discount codes, will be linked below for you in my description box. And also don't forget to subscribe as I will be sharing and rounding up all of my other favorites for 2023. So stay tuned. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Take care and I will see you all then. Bye guys.